A lot of you guys have goals you want to achieve. The problem is, even though you have goals, you always get stuck somewhere along the way that prevents you from completing them. What you need to know is there's two components to achieving goals. There's the mechanical action and there's the mental state. Most people focus on the mechanical action part. The mental side of it though is much more complex. In this video, I'm going to give you the methods you need to manifest your goals. When you follow them, you'll actually be able to achieve your goals rather than just giving up after a week. The first step is you need to see them as a reality. So many of you have fantastical goals that almost seem too good to be true. You tell yourself you want something, but you don't actually believe that you can accomplish it. How are you going to get there if even you don't believe it's possible? I think the main issue here is you guys have goals that are too generic. Some examples include, I want a mansion, I want a hypercar, I want to live in Miami. These are all super generic that everybody has. Making these types of goals is borderline useless. The moment you start to consider how you actually want to accomplish this goal, it almost seems like a total fantasy. The mountain to get there is so large that it's just so easy to give up. If you keep running into this issue, there's a couple things you can do. The first thing you can do is have bite-sized goals along the way. Having a goal such as wanting a mansion isn't good enough. You need to think of all the in-between steps like a web. Eventually, I want to get a mansion, but in order to get a mansion, I need to make money. Well, how am I going to make money? I'm 16 right now, so I probably got to get a job. Okay, well, what kind of job can pay me a lot of money per hour? Paying me money per hour doesn't mean I'm going to get a mansion. Okay, so how am I going to make money outside of that? Am I going to use school? Am I going to start a business? See, there's so many goals you can pack into this before you get to the mansion. It all becomes an interconnected web. When you create the path in your mind, now it becomes realistic. Let me give you a sample. I'm going to get a job that I'm going to use to pay for my schooling. I'm going to get a very specific education because I believe I'll be able to leverage that education later when I start my business. Once I develop that business, that business will pay me enough to be able to consider buying the mansion. Do you see how much more realistic that is compared to just wanting a mansion? Remember guys, it's okay to appear a little bit delusional when you're thinking about your long-term goals. Just remember, it's equally as important to create a tangible path to get there. This leads me to my second point, which is to create consistent action items to get you to your goals. When it comes to action items, there's two main types. The first is the static ones. An example of this is something like the gym. When it comes to fitness goals, the action items are always the same. You don't have to alter your gym routine at all. You just gotta do it enough times over and over again for a number of years. If you do bench press enough times per week for a long enough period of time, eventually you'll reach your desired bench press goal. In contrast, a dynamic action item requires you to change inputs depending on where you are in your progress. Let's say for example you want to be an entrepreneur. There's a variety of skills you're going to need in order to be successful. During different phases of your career, you're going to need to advance different skills in order to get the edge. Early on, you'll probably need to focus on sales. Then as you move forward, you're probably going to need to focus on public speaking. When you reach the point of diminishing returns, you switch to something else that'll give you the better bang for buck. When it comes to creating your goals, you have to be able to determine which ones require static inputs versus which ones require dynamic inputs. Let me give you a bit of an example. In order to start my landscaping business, I'm going to have to dial 50 numbers a day. I'm probably going to have to do this until I reach about 10 clients. At that point, I'm going to have to focus more on hiring than I will on dialing numbers since I have enough clients to keep me going. As I'm increasing my workforce, I'm now able to pursue the bigger jobs that I couldn't get before. I'm now able to land bigger contracts that allows more stability, which means I can hire even more people. You get the drill. The static action items in this example are showing up every day and doing the mechanical work. The dynamic action items are increasing the workforce and pursuing larger jobs. You have to be able to identify both in order to accurately plan out what you're going to do. Both of these things are absolutely required in order to make progress. The third and most counterintuitive point is to keep these goals to yourself. There are two main reasons why you want to do this. The first reason is telling other people about your goals emulates success in your mind. It sort of tricks your mind into thinking you've already succeeded before you've actually done it. Because of this, you're less likely to pursue the goal after the fact. There are psychology studies available that prove this to be the truth. The second reason is more of an uncomfortable truth. People have a tendency to feel uncomfortable when your goals are bigger than theirs. People selfishly think you're telling them that you're better than them when you talk to them about your greater goals. In many cases, they won't help you even if it's easy for them, or they'll blatantly stand in your way. Understand guys, we live in a cutthroat world. Every Everybody wants to be at the top, but nobody wants to work for it. It's the whole crabs in the bucket metaphor. When one crab tries to exit, the other crabs pull him back down. Let people watch your success, but don't tell them where you're headed. That wraps up this video, guys. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. Make sure to check out the extended version on Patreon for more exclusive value. Comment below with any video ideas you'd like to see from me. I'll see you next time.